What's going on dudes and dudettes, Super Turtle back here with another in 10 minutes tutorial guys. Today we are going over environmental tech and the void ore miners and everything else. I hope you all enjoy. Here we go. 10 minutes starting now. All right, guys, so we're going to be going over the basic crafting materials for the void ore miners. We will be getting into how to build them later on. But first of all, you're going to want to make this litharite here. Uh, you can make it here by this recipe here. This is the default one, uh, but it should look like this. And you're going to need to craft these up into blocks. And you're going to want to make them into a pattern that looks like this. You're going to need a diode and a clear lens or a, a laser lens. It could be any one. You need a diamond and then four of the blocks and you will get the tier one void or minor controller. This will be the brain of it. Now, in order to upgrade to tier two, you're gonna need to let this run for a bit until it can get the erodium crystals, which will be used in the tier two process of this. As you can see, you'll craft them up in the blocks as well. You'll also be, instead of the diode, it will be the vo the tier one controller. So you'll be crafting it like that. And then you, after running this for a bit, you'll get the cryonite crystals, which will be uh, crafting for the tier three and you can get how this goes along uh, and uh, after you get the cryonite you'll be getting the palladium from this one and then you'll get the tier four and as you can see you craft it up just like the, the normal one with the, the previous tier uh, controller in the middle and then you will get the ionite crystal which will help you make the tier five from the tier five you'll get the Athium crystal which help you make the tier six and the tier six is the top of the line now a byproduct of all of these will be the I can't say this the lawn lawns delight whatever it is uh, Crystal here, and this is a byproduct for modifiers, which we will be talking on later in the video all right, guys, in order to create the void ore miner multi-block structure, you're going to obviously need a void ore miner. You're going to need some structure frames, which are using the litharite crystals again. We're going to have lapis and iron, again, with interconnect, and this will make this the tier one uh, structured frames here. And then you're going to need a structural panel, which are very simple, which is made with the iron bars, gold nuggets, and a connector. Now, a very easy way to tell how many materials you're going to need for this is by right-clicking, or sorry, left-clicking, the void ore miner. It's going to tell you the required blocks. I'll show you here what this looks like. So let's go here. We're going to go up four. And I'm going, I don't need to have all the materials because I'm in creative mode. But as you can see, if you right click the, um, if you right click the void ore miner with the, the assembler in your hand, it will automatically build it for you. Now in vanilla or in survival, it will take the items out of your inventory and build them one by one. So just be aware of that. Uh, but you're also going to need a, uh, again, a clear laser lens, and you're also going to need a laser core. That's the only difference from what I listed earlier. All right, guys, so I've got a tier six void ore miner here. Just wanna show you how big this thing will eventually get. Uh, and just so you know, uh, this does get tiered up. You can go ahead and check that out in your, uh, in the recipe bar that you have. But just so you guys do know, if you uh, shift or right click, it will take it away. Yours will be one by one in survival mode though. All right, guys, time for the final part of the void ore miners. We're going to be talking about the modifiers and the lenses here. So the modifiers, uh, obviously, they modify. Uh, speed modifier obviously will make the void ore miner faster. Uh, it will decrease the amount of time. So what happens is the void ore miners, they pulses. So it'll pulse for an ore, it'll pulse for an ore like that. And this just increases the amount of time between. Uh, the accuracy modifiers are in direct correlation with the lens. So each lens has a different chance of getting certain items like iron ore or stuff like that. And the different color of lens determines on what you get. And these will determine how often the preferred ores from the specific crystal lens. As you can see, if we go here for the gray lens, uh, we get tin, nickel, stuff like that. So that's the preferred one for the gray one. Uh, each one is different. Um, let's have a look here. The lime, uh, this is used for emeralds, obviously, because it's green. Uh, so this will determine how often we're getting emeralds every time this goes off the speed modifiers. Now, obviously, this can be expanded out a lot more. Uh, you can have a lot more speed modifiers over here, and you will get uh, much more emeralds, but it will cost you more RF per tick. All right, guys, so next is the solar array controller. As you can see, we have a tier one here. You can go ahead and check any eye for the recipe. Uh, and the way this is set up is we use these uh, solar cells here. They kind of look like solar panels, obviously. And these need to be attached up above the solar array controller. This is a completed version here. As you can see, it uses the structure uh, the structure frames all the way around it needs to be the the same tier as the as the solar panels and the array controller here We also have modifiers down here below so you can make it go faster or slower And it does go all the way up to tier 6 just like the void ore miners and as you can see we have all of the tier 6 uh, solar 
uh, cells here surrounded by the tier six structure frames. If you go under here, here's the tier six solar array controller. And we also have more modifiers. And as you can see, we're producing 1.7 million FE per tick, which is a heck ton of power. So these are very awesome to make, uh, but they do require a lot of resources. All right, guys, for the next power generation, we have the lightning rods. Uh, the lightning lightning rod controllers. Uh, so during a storm, this will get power obviously from lightning. As you can see, these are the different tiers. But what's different about this is we're using insulated li lightning rods and then normal lightning rods on top of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this only works during storms. So it's not the best thing in the world, but this is what it looks like when it's all done, as you can see. And you're gonna need those blocks down on the bottom left-hand side. And as you can see, it also does go up all the way to tier six. Let me go ahead and grab one of those for you so I can show you the, the best of the best. And boom, that looks quite a bit different. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But uh, yep, that is the lightning rod. I don't typically use this one. I was just proven incorrect about that. I heard a, light, a lightning strike one of these and it generated power. So it didn't have to be during a storm at all. All right, guys, those are the basics for environmental tech. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, this tutorial is supposed to help the newcomers who are coming to the mod who've never played it before to get a grasp on what's going on with environmental tech and maybe how to get some resources. But anyways, guys, hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, I will see you in the next 10 minutes or less video. Take care. Bye-bye.